how would we make sure that we collect that if, if it's well, it's, it's it's the same, almost the same as a, uh, with that. It's not a fine; it becomes an assessment then, uh, because we've done work in their apartment and we're we're charging them for it. Um, so if they don't pay it, you can actually charge interest on it. And eventually, because it is an assessment, you can actually turn around and lien the apartment for not paying that assessment. Okay. So the other the other penalty that we have available to us is to. Uh, it says fines and suspensions, which, which means suspending their privileges in terms of using the clubhouse, in terms of also the bar code, correct? Yes, we, we canceled bar code. Uh, we don't allow them into the, uh, the clubhouse. Okay. And depending on how much their uh, fines become, uh, it, it can actually uh, prevent them from voting on any issues. and. Uh, because they would be right. on there, we wouldn't even allow them right. to rent. Right. Uh, so, I believe, I'm not sure, if I think that this particular issue is bifurcated in the state statute in terms of the finding committee, I believe, is restricted to just fines. And I'm not, I, I can't remember exactly what the wording is. I believe the board is the one that suspends, but the finding committee must approve the fine, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. Okay, That's correct. So, so as part of, so that the motion really should be to uh, suspend privileges for the sit, uh, for the seven, and also refer them to the finding committee for for the finding. Um, so, is there a motion for that effect? So, their their bar their bar code privileges would be included in that, correct? That's correct. Okay. Yes. Is there a motion? Anybody want? Okay, Rabbit moves it. Is there a second? No, Rabbit, Rabbit. Okay, so, okay, Carl seconded it? Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, so we have a motion and a second. Uh, any, okay, we have a question here, right? The one that's illegal. Oh, I'll get, I'll right after Rabbit. The illegal one, what's gonna happen with them? Because are they even supposed to be in here? The one that's illegal. I mean, how are they getting in without a barcode? And they're illegal? They're not supposed to be in the unit? And, and why are some of them getting away with not even going to the office submitting an application? Getting a background check? We don't even know who they are. Right. The only thing that we can do when we find out that there are elite, illegal people in a uh, unit is go after the owner of the unit. And that's what we normally do. We go after the, the owner and then but the owner probably already knows that they're illegal. Right, but we can then find the owner, and if he doesn't, and after we do the finding, if he still maintains keeping these people in there, I believe that we can then say you're, you're now being another violation and another violation and, and until he gets the people out. Uh, did you get that question? I'm sorry. I'm just having a blind moment. I'm confused. I'm dead. <laughs> you, sent, you sent two letters, you sent two letters, right? Yes. It's been to the finding committee. Yes. They, they were fined twice. Yes. Right? And, and they never responded. That's right. Right? So there are people living in the property that are renters? No. What, what? There's nobody living in the, the property. The, the, one the, that the, the two people, window. right, there's nobody in that apartment. There's apartment. nobody in that apartment. We're going after but the they're, owner. But their but their but their association fees are collected. Yes, they, they mail in their association fees. Okay. So how is their association fees current? They're not there's nobody living in the property. Yeah. Their association fees are current. Yeah. They're not responding to Correct. To, is it in foreclosure? No. Why would it be in foreclosure? Some, something is in life. Person is not the, the apartment is empty, okay? And they have a broken window. And it's been empty now for how long? Uh, for about four or five months. Okay, okay. Uh, John, next question. Hi, I think I may be able to help you with that. I think I rented that unit shortly a while ago. We get so I would be happy to get hold of the owner and let him know that he's gonna have other problems if he doesn't fix the window. So 
sometimes rather just in, in, impose hundred dollar fines a day. H two J. Somebody knocked on the door. H two J. You're yeah. talking about? Lord, is that the unit you're talking about? Yes, we're talking about H two J. Remember the unit. I've almost rented every unit in here. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, tell them if they don't get that window yeah. fixed, it's it, they're well, going to be fined again. Let me have a few days and I'll get back to you. Okay, perfect. Thank I'll you. With, um, All right, thanks, Ben. Uh, so we have a motion and a second. Is there another question? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. You first and then. Oh, Betsy. Okay. I don't know if this is a sufficient question, but I had a 911 call and. EMS went to the wrong apartment. Does this have anything to do with the fines? It's not nothing to do with the fines. Well, it has to do with a broken unit. It has nothing to do with the fines. No, it's got to be on the fines. Who is the other person? Well, I wanted to know who was responsible. My question is about the Z3D, the one you said in Evo. Oh, okay. They're right next to me. So are those people still there or are they gone? Well, I, I think the fine is because they're still there, correct? Because I have the people who was in there who moved out was the older couple and then some kind of young adults. But I never saw them, but there was like three, four young guys in and out. So I have a 16 years old, so I'm like right now because I never heard I'm right they are right next door this is the first time okay uh, John do you know about that unit no I don't but I visit um, Katie now and again with my wife sometimes but uh, it's it would be good that the security guy sometimes knocks on a door and finds out with a copy of the lease and you can find out who's supposed to be there and then if they don't show their credentials and then what are you doing here? And that's when they can be told to ask the lead. Yeah, so what what unit was that? Zurich 3D. 3750, unit 3D. So how are they getting in here? They don't have a barcode. Here, we've discussed that at length in my office, how, how they get in. The owners get them in. Yeah. Um, but uh, we have to move on. Uh, we have a motion and a second on the table. Uh, is there any uh, objection to the motion on the board? Hearing none, it's approved. All right, uh, so Dan, if you could schedule a meeting for the planning committee. And the next item is we're up to good and welfare. The first person is Harriet Handler. Good evening. Can we get her on mic? Well, the, the only thing is the video, you won't be picked up on the video. I <laughs> videos anyway. So, Sydney and I walk around the village six o'clock in the morning. I'm happy to report that 99.9% .9 of all the lights are lit. However, they still throw no illumination and it's very dark everywhere. We need to change the globes. I don't think that the bolts are the problem. I think it's that the, um, the globes are dirty. dirty. Okay. It's not dirty, yeah, they're just they're they're opaque. opaque. And they show no light. light. Also, in front of the Yorkshire building, there is a lovely sign that says Yorkshire and the building number. It's very dark in here. We should have those kind of signs in front of all the buildings. That's it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Uh, next item, next person is Marcia Batan. I'm oh, sorry, Marcy. Yeah. Thank you. Marcy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my notes. You wrote Marcia, so that's your. No, I wrote Marcia. Oh, oh, sorry. Is that how you say it? So is it Marcy or Marcy? Well, Marcy. I do, I do uh, your own board member. I am Marcy. All right. Marcy. 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 Okay. Uh, there has been many emails sent both to you and to Dan with reference to the laundry room with the dryers. Okay? And it has been going on for months and months. We had a fire there once on the second floor. The, 
the back of the laundry the, on the third floor, but on the second floor we had a fire years ago. But what happens is that behind the dryer, it is not attached. It is Probably. not attached, mm -hmm. and it's quite dangerous. Okay? I don't want a fire again. Again. And it needs to happen. George, you need to go to every building and check it out before we have a problem. I don't want to call the fire department about this. This is a fire hazard. There is also a light on the third floor near my apartment. It is hanging. It needs to be inside the apartment or outside? Outside my apartment. I don't inside I get something. Outside. Okay. And it has been addressed. Months ago, nothing has been done. Also, is there a way that they can clean out the sewers here? When we have rain, I mean, God, you can't even walk because of the water. Can they not clean out the sewers? Is there a possibility? Okay. And one more, one more. <laughs> I found that it was in bad taste when Doreen attacked Christine the God. Attacked her in a very bad way. You know what? I don't find that it's nice. If she had something to say to Christine, pull her aside and talk to her. Not talk to her in a down way, or yell at her. And you know what? It wasn't just me then. There were other people there that heard this. And they were embarrassed to see that Doreen could do this. And, and to say that Christine's clothing is, doesn't, is not good. I mean, this is, I mean, come on. This is not right to talk to people that have been here. I mean, she gets enough from the residents that give her bad times. She certainly doesn't need it from somebody here. And I would like that address too hard. All right? I would appreciate okay. taking care of that. Um, Dan, can you address those? Sure. Starting with uh, the dryer. I didn't hear all of them. I was indisposed for a few moments. Uh, the, the dryers, is that what was that one of the problems? We constantly are calling on George to work on the dryers and the washing machines. Um, We've even brought in the outside company, Mesmin, and they fix the machines, and within days, people are telling us the machines are broken again. I don't know what the actual reason is because we're not sitting in there watching. My guess is that people are trying to jam too many clothes into the machine or trying to open the machine before it's supposed to be and throwing off the electronics because I know George has told me that a lot of times the only thing he has to do is go up there, open up the box, reset the electronics, and the machine is working again. The I'm machine. Talking about the dryers. I'm not talking about. Okay, the I, I I didn't hear what you said about the dryers. So. The lint. Okay, the lint. I know we. I've been oh, talking to George. Machine, it has to be cleaned out, and behind it, you've got the, right. the tubing. All, all, I agree with you about the the uh, the tubing part, the, the hoses going out. People clean. need to when they use the dryers, they need to first make sure that the lint trap has been cleaned. Yeah. You can't keep doing dryer, uh, drying your clothes and never cleaning out the lint trap. I will, take, I will get somebody in here to, to do the hoses and the, and the line going up to the, uh, the okay, roof. The third floor dryers are clean. I personally go in there and if there's a sign out there, please take care of the lint. It is clean. <laughs> I'm talking about you need to clean out the inside part where the, when you pull it out, there's all kinds of dirt. Okay. Inside, when you pull out the uh, yeah. loop part, and mm -hmm. the back, the tubing, the tubing is not attached. I mean, you put the dryer on and all that dirt comes flying around. Okay, I, I will come up there tomorrow and I will look at it but and find out why they're not attached. It's not the floor, and, then, yeah, and you've had it it's not on the building, so, okay, yeah. Um, actually, George needs to address that. Well. They're in all the buildings. All yeah, and, and okay. actually that, that's true, like for the lint traps, you can't get them all the way down. There's so much lint stuck okay. in there, so you can't get them all the way down. Yeah, this, this probably, I know see or something happened, we go check it out, no worry. I want to tell you, other person go check the, the dryers and wash it. I have the cars that can, I go use it for the set. And most of the time, is the machines, nothing happened. When I reset the, the machine again, it's working fine. I tell you right now, what happened? I didn't anything happen 
in the past when this, the machine is stopping, they say me what happened. What, what happened is the people when they wash it, what they use the washing machine, they fill it out with water. Okay, everything's parking fine. They forgot to put something. They open, man, with the bottom. With open again, the the the, the, the door. They put more clothes for washing in there. Oh, George, and George, the water talking is about the, just you're talking about just the dryers. And the, the thing with the dryers is the the lint uh, traps. Um, when you pull out the lint traps, you can't get them all the way back in because there's so much lint jammed yeah. up in we, there. We talk about the dryer, the, the water, you know, the dryer, I understand. We have to clean it up. We don't clean but it. We always do everything. Yeah, like in the Marseille, it's, it's been like that, and I can never get it all the way down. So it needs to, you need to get in there deeper with the back. No, we have, we have a special vacuum for cleaning. But it's not, it's not being done properly because we, we, we never get them all the way down. They we take it. And the hose behind, right. So if you could please take care of that so we don't lose that investment. Okay. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, you weren't on there, were you? I think the next person was uh, John Henderson. If we have time at the end, then we'll talk. John. Good evening. I'd like to check on clarity of um, rules and regulations for leasing. Um, I brought in a client, White, making a hundred and, no, $1.5 million a year. What to rent a unit for 27 year old daughter, they owned a arena business. I was told within 30 seconds we don't do but, uh, co signing anymore. Well, the last two I did was I3G, which hasn't even come up yet, and O2C, that was the priest from Ethiopia. Both were co signers, so I requested last week when was the rules changed? So we, uh, we really have to go by the docs, whatever the docs say in terms of... The docs are right here. Okay. But I believe the docs, the way they're written, they apply to the, the tenant. The tenant has to meet these, these requirements in, in, uh, you know, in, whether it's in terms of income and the background check and all that stuff. And it's not, uh, because if you, if you allow a, a co-signer, then that kind of just, it throws all the rules out the window because then anybody could come in and have somebody else sign for them. So if, if that's the case, then you really, what, what is the purpose of, of the, the income requirement and so forth. If they're, if they're meaningless and you could just have a co-signer sign, then it kind of defeats the purpose of having these income requirements, et cetera, in the first place. Uh, so that, that was the problem problem that we were, we were facing, I believe, is that a lot of people were skirting the income requirements and other requirements that we have in our docs by simply having somebody co-sign for them. Uh, we have been co-signed for quite a while, and I was told that you changed the rules last month by Doreen. Well, the rule, that, the, the, the thing is, is that... Did it, you write any statement right. changing any, um, any the, board name? Yeah. co the, the co-signer thing is not in the docs, that's the thing. So if we were doing something that was not in the docs, then we, we really shouldn't be doing that. All right, so how would a, a rich client that had used the tax with him and filled out an application making $1.5 million on a one-bedroom apartment, why should he be rejected? Because, you know, he might end up buying or whatever. Uh, okay, so is this this is a relative? You're talking about a relative. This is the father of the daughter. Okay, well that would be a different case then. But if I was already told I, believe, I can't John, do that anymore. He was co-signed for his daughter. Okay, but but if he was relative, he wasn't going to be living there. Um, I'm not on the sales lease. Well, I've been on the sales lease committee for very long, so I'm not as familiar and versed in the in the rules as, as some. But I believe. There may be something in there with regard to relatives, and, th and those cases like that, I believe, are special cases. So that would be something. Be I'll, yeah, the, the that would be something I'd like to look at because uh, I do believe that there is something with regard to, to relatives. So you say they should allow co-signing? I, I look at it, uh, but <laughs> I've, been yeah, you, I've been asking you yeah. for more than two weeks. Which, which, was that was that unit um, in the sales report today? No. 
Was it? No, I, I asked you over a month ago about that, over two weeks ago. And rabbit, and nobody's ever even got. I'll look into it. I asked you five times, and you never replied in email. I'll look into that because what you're what you're bringing up is a uh, is a special type of case. <laughs> it's not a special it's... type of case at all. This is quite common for a parent. No, what I'm saying. After their well, children, no, no, what I'm, I'm renting an apartment. What I'm saying is that that kind of case may be covered in the docs in terms of a relative. A father. But how come the office seems to know more rules and make more rules than you do? It may have been a mistake. The next, the next question may have been approach, mistake. can a parent put a $40,000 into the bank account of their child to show that they have an income of $40,000? Because the condo docs say and state that with the $40,000 on a one bedroom that they can rent the unit. Well, I was told by Dorian, oh, it doesn't work that way. So Doreen, could you answer the question, what way does it work? I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Well, you have to. Well, you have to. I'm trying to make a living here, and people are trying to live here. I've got perfectly good clients that are absolutely wonderful, and you just happily turn them down to be homeless. All right. Okay, so John, I, I, think, I think you have a valid point there, because as you yes, said, it's relative, and, and um, money we were going to deposit it. So uh, I think there's a lot of I'll, I'll talk to you about that one. I, I, I would like to say point. right yeah. now that the office has a very bad attitude towards anybody coming in. A lot of realtors tell me they're very vicious, they're very nasty, there's no need for this. This is a very pleasant community. I've lived here for 20 years. I've never had so much hard time trying to get anybody approved and I do not bring trash into the village. Everybody that I bring in is a perfectly good client, and I, I qualified them before. It took me two months to get the two gay guys in here that make $175,000. And finally, she conceded by quietly giving me a paper. No apology, no regrets, no nothing, just here's your freaking paper. That's not fair, that's not right, and that's not professional, and I think she, it's time for her to retire. Okay, yeah, thank you, John. Uh, I'm sorry you had these uh, bad experiences. I'm still but going through it, and every deal is a nightmare, even uh, a rollover. Can you no. give me the, 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 the unit number again on that one that you, you, met, that you mentioned about the, uh, the father? The father was N1K, Nick. Okay, I'm going to look into that one because uh, I believe you have another I've been writing to John. What uh, do you mean? You can read. look into it. You've I, been I'm going to discuss that with you tomorrow. And haven't done okay. a thing because you're absent. We'll take care of it. You're never here. We'll take care of it. Okay, uh, the next person is Katie Perkins. Yes. Well, my name is Kate. Yeah, they, because it won't pick up with it over there. Why not apply again for Tony? Last time I just stand in the spot. I, I can't hear the picture. Pretty close. Pretty close Last time I stand in here, I talk about the many order I pay for the association. All right? She jumps up from the, the chair. She said, oh, come to the office. I'll take care of it. Da, da, da. I went. <coughs> She called me in her office. I sat down. She was just doing whatever. She called Shai. She goes like, okay, Shai will take care of you. Shai gave me the same answer. What she gave me prior to that. This, is, this has been going on. But my question is, I was 100% sure that she was going to take care of it. But once I am in the office, I'm like uh, hopeless. The shy at the end told me. No, it was good work. Good work. Okay. I have to make another $30 many order in order for them to investigate or whatever. It's not my problem. I brought too many orders. It's already out of my. I have the copy. There you go. I have the copy. They, one of them was cash, one of them is it. Why is that? Is my problem. I don't have to dig and look for the little receipt that I bought the many order for from Publix or whatever. But my thing is, I tried to look for it, I couldn't find that piece of paper. You have to put it. But it's not the first time that this happened anyway. But my question is, 
I want that money to be found, whatever it is. I pay my maintenance on time. I always try to do in advance. Okay. So I just do not like the fact that you passed me too shy. And shy told me the same thing she told me again and again before. So I just, I don't know what to say. I just have to address it with you guys and I don't know how to talk to you guys about me. And also the other thing is just what I heard today about those people. Could you please find out yes, like if, who is living in there now? Because I, I'm okay that there is some young guys live there. But I thought those are like the new tenant or fixing the, the, the property 